To clean your grinder, first remove the spice chamber from the rest of the grinder and empty out any salt or pepper in the chamber. Remove the rubber cap on the bottom. Next, look at the very bottom of the grinder at the coarseness adjustment knob. Turn the knob counterclockwise to unscrew it completely from the grinding mechanism. When the knob comes completely off, put it in a safe place. Next, remove the ceramic grinding burr from the shaft. The next piece you'll need to remove is the tension spring. And the last piece on the bottom of the shaft is a small metal washer. Once you removed all of these pieces from the bottom of the shaft, you can now remove the shaft from the spice chamber. On the top half of the shaft is another small metal washer. At this point, you can brush off and wipe down any parts that need to be cleaned. Do not put any of these parts in the dishwasher and do not submerge any of the parts in water. Once you have cleaned your grinder and all of the parts are dry, you can now reassemble it in reverse order. Here's a picture of all the parts in the order they should be assembled. To reassemble your grinder, first put the metal washer on the bottom half of the shaft. Then reinsert the shaft into the spice chamber. Turn the grinder over so that the bottom is facing up and put the other metal washer on. Next, put the tension spring back on. And then the ceramic grinding burr. Make sure that the small end goes in first. And finally, place the coarseness adjustment knob back on the bottom and screw it on by turning it clockwise. You'll have to hold the shaft on the other end to keep it from turning as you screw the knob back on. Once the lower end of the grinder is reassembled, you can refill your grinder, put it all back together, and it's ready for use.